Hello friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Wheeling. In West Virginia. It's a beautiful day again. March 5th. Unbelievable. What do we have here? Boxes. And holds. Where the beagles. This is their play area. <laughs> Nothing is safe in this zone. <laughs> but what today's project is if y'all remember my video last year patio well sent me a 10 by 10 metal shed that gary and i assembled and did a video on back behind the barn so they contacted me last month and asked me if i'd like to do it they liked that video and they wanted me to do another one and this is a six by eight plastic shed uh, by plastic, it's a very heavy-duty resin that is all recycled material. And this can all be recycled. But, you know, I figure it can be here at the house. I took the other one out to the barn. I have this 10 by 16 shed here. But that's going to go to uh, St. Bernard Acres and become part of my house. I'm going to add that on as my utility room. Because that's in fantastic shape. And this, I can put the bicycles in, the lawnmower in, the stuff I'm going to keep here in Wheeling and use until we move. So that's the plan. Let me show you a little bit about this uh, shed that I'm working on. It's the important one. The shed comes in five boxes. And let me tell you, box one of five. Three, four, <laughs> two, and the fifth box. These are heavy. You are going to need help to get these where you need them to be unless you open them up on your porch where they're delivered and you carry it back here piece by piece. But Alex was here, so we dragged them all out. This deck that I'm going to be building, it comes with a floor, but I'm going to put it on this deck. Uh, this was an 8x8 shed that I had built 15 years ago. A uh, wooden shed that I have since torn down. This platform that it was built on, I'm going to use again. I had to add a few more pieces of uh, deck board to it, as you can see. But I'm going to build this on here. This platform was 8x8. Eight eight, but if you take those 2 befores the bottom plate that I left on there, you need 91 inches, 91 plus inches for this floor, for this shed. With those 2 befores on there, I only had 89 inches interior space. So for 2 inches, I had to add more. But, uh... Yeah, I'm going to put the floor down and snap all the sides in. They, they kick in. A lot less screws, a lot less headache than the metal ones. And it, this will last forever, as far as I know. Now, we'll see how it weathers with, uh, you know, ultraviolet light and the sun beating on it. But supposedly, it can carry an 800-pound snow load on the roof. But double doors, I mean, that's the picture of it little window and all plastic so let's get into it all right folks we are going to start with box one and see what's inside it see if we got any instructions or which box all the we have to open them all up boys the dogs are out here helping go ahead rip it open dude And Rex and Bentley are there to help. <laughs> That's a 133 pound box. Nope, the doors. Well, there's gonna be more than doors in there. Alright, well, there's assembly instructions. 
doors, windows. We'll need a screw gun, a screwdriver, a ladder, an Allen wrench. Oh, you got gloves and uh, safety glasses with Made it. And a parts kit and what's inside. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The, I'm betting the floor parts are in here. So let's op empty the box. pound box so maybe they're gonna ship him back yeah yeah we're Billy's gonna go bench. back with it hey since this is heavier this may be the floor because it doesn't tell you what's inside it no. no he's playing around in it come here Rex look you're missing out bud look at that patio well I do well gloves. How about that? Yeah. All right. So two. two. That's one. That's two. Yeah. Let's open up box number two. pieces in this. Yep. That's the rough. Part number D2. Yep. Yep. Already shingled. Okay, boys. You don't need to test it. See, it's strong enough to hold beagles. Down. Down. Should just use the word off. Yeah. Off. 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 Come on, off, buddy. Off. Oh. Off, off, go, go, off, go. <laughs> so those are the rough panels. Yep. Oh, so the box lid back over real quick. All right, out, out. We're shipping right Rex back. Rex. Come on, Al. Okay. There's box number two. Now we'll do three. All right, so we have all the boxes open now. There's the floor to be put together. <laughs> it does come with its own floor. And then roofing panels, roofing pieces, gable ends, uh, somewhere's the ridge cap, it's in there, all the wall panels, the black is the doors, I got two of those, and one panel with a window in it, so, and then box number five, has all the bolts and screws and all the metal pieces that will hold it all together once we get it snapped into place. So that, oh, there's the eaves uh, or the ridge cap. So that was a job just getting all this stuff emptied. Uh, now let's sort it out and get started. All right, let's start with putting the floor together. Hopefully that's part one of these instructions. Yes. Okay. I need A1, A2, and A3.
All right, so there's the floor in place. You can see the footprint. Uh, Next piece. What's that for? That adds A5s into each end because that will start the doors or the. Uh, oh, that's for the doors. Yeah, there they are. There. Okay, that's going to go like that. And then that'll get screwed down. Yep, but don't pop those in yet because you have to add something to them. 6 through 20, right here. There's 11. So we're going to need those. Those are going to screw into these. SPF 620. That them? 620. Yep. There you go. And here you go. Well, hang on a sec, though. SPF 6 through 20. Side. Yeah, if it's yeah, <sighs> and the short piece will go that way. The shorter piece. Yep, and then it sets right there in the corner. Press on the oh, top yeah. of B one, so clips below B one are flush with floor clips. You can use your foot to kick B one flat. Man, can't you? Look at that. And fold it. Okay, I'll hold this side. So you're gonna have to step. Yeah. This is your foot. I think you're kicking me. <laughs> okay. That doesn't seem to wanna. Oh, because we need to get these to the window. Face this way. Yeah. Uh, the window to attach, kind of. I think once we get the window onto this. Yeah. I mean. There we go. That's where it's going to go. Let me have yeah. the window. Ooh, the window piece. This. It will click to get place B3 at an angle on the floor, align the B1 clips, and rotate to snap in place. When installing B3, hold on the top of B3 so the bottom of B3 is flush with the floor clips, then kick B3 with a with the flat of your foot. Where's that rubber mallet? Right over here. Because for some reason I knew not to put it back in the shed. Yeah, because that bottom piece is definitely up. You have to step on the floor. Yeah. Okay, all the weight coming on. Come on, Rex. Badly, come on. We need all the weight. All right. Those are the walls. Everything's not tightened up yet. They're all just kicked in at the bottom. It's actually a very neat way of doing it. Uh, how easy it was to put all these panels up. And then there's straps inside to screw between the where they all connect. But yeah, those went up pretty easy. Let me back up a little bit. Yeah, those went up pretty easy. Now we're on to the next step. All right, with the walls up. All right, with the walls up. Now I put these braces at every junction of the. Uh, uh, panels <laughs> that goes down in a loop or a hole down there and then all these screws go in so let me get started putting that together again like I mentioned when I did the metal shed it's always best to look ahead on the steps for when you get ready to do the next step because these braces on the back wall are different than the ones on the side wall so fortunately i looked at that
Must have something to do with the roof structure. All right, those are star. Those need two, four, six, eight, eight more screws in each one of those. <laughs> Alex is putting on door hardware on the inside. Man, got hot. Should have waited till Friday when it's only going to be in the 60s. Now I think one of the nice features about this shed that I'm going to like is it's light enough to move around. You know, and if I wanted to move it somewhere, this will fit on my trailer. I could bring my trailer here, slide it up on the trailer and take it out to St. Bernard Acres without having to take it apart. Maybe. If I could strap it down enough. <laughs> And this says it can be put up in a couple of hours. I believe if you were in the business of doing these and you did one every day at a location, eventually you'd get to within two hours. But first time doing it, you're not going to do it in two hours. I'm sorry, Patio Well, that's just facts. Or if you're shaking. Man. Welcome back. As you can tell, this is a different day. Uh, we got, Alex and I got pretty far with it, but then I had to go to work. He stayed and did some of the roof. Then we got rain and rain and rain. Then we got the weekend that I was out at the cabin with Alex. Then rain. Well, it's finally dried up a couple days. We got to finish it. Today, with the help of Bentley and Rex over there, we're going to be moving into this. Let me tell you, I'll give you a tour of it before I start filling it up. Uh, a couple things I want to mention. The base that you put this on needs to be level. If you put down a gravel base, if you put, down, put it on the ground, if you build something like this, this is an old base from an old wood shed that I built years ago. And I put these one by six deck boards on here, but they're all cupped and upside down, and it made this very difficult, especially when we got to putting the doors on and to try to get everything even and lined up. And we had to put shims underneath stuff in order to try to get it all together. This isn't the exact size, but I need to put it up. The nice thing about it being plastic and everything in the floor is this could be moved around. Um, it's only a couple hundred pounds probably, uh, 250 maybe. So it could be slid across the yard. Um, that's the main thing about putting it together. They're hyping this whole thing with this kick design where you can kick the walls in at the bottom. Great concept <laughs> in reality. Not the, you know, I mean it worked. You can kick them together, but you got a whole lot of stuff you got to do with it. So I wound up, you know, using a rubber mallet to uh, finish knocking them all into place. And then, you know, you've got them all flopping. It, you'll see. It's a great shed. It's very sturdy. I, the more we did to it, the sturdier it got. So now it's very solid. I'll show you that when I do my walk around and we'll walk inside it. It's muddy on the inside. <laughs> it's got paw prints all over where the dogs were going in and out, especially with the rain. Now it rained and rained and rained and it did not rain inside here. We didn't get water inside here. The only place that got some water was when, because we didn't have the doors on. 
but no water leaked anywhere inside it. So I was very pleased with that because we got a lot of rain, we got a lot of wind. Remember the wind? Jeez. And this thing didn't have a problem with it. So kudos for that. But this thing, yeah, I like it. I Made from recycled materials, you know, can't argue with that. But they call it a plastic shed. I don't think it's really fair to call it plastic. I mean, it is, but it's solid. It's a resin. So let me show you. I'm going to do a walkthrough, and then we're going to start putting stuff inside it, and we'll figure it out from there. Come here, Rex. Oh, there you are, buddy. What you think? Do you see Rex? Mm-hmm. What you think, bud? Oh, did you like it? Huh? You helped put it together? All right. What have you got, Bentley? Carrying a stick around? Huh? Yeah. So this is it. It's very nice looking shed. I'm really pleased with how well it looks. It does not look like a cheap plastic shed at all. Let me walk you around it a bit. Got vents in the top. Over on this side, we have a window that did not leak. So I'm really happy with that. What, did you swallow the st stick? <laughs> Look at this, it's like we're testing landmines here. Uh, the door hat, it comes with this lock, which is a combination lock. And you can set your own combination if you want. But yeah, I mean, it's not Fort Knox, but it's pretty cool. But don't show the code. Well, it comes, we haven't set our own code yet. It comes with zero, zero, zero and then just turn it. And look at that. Looky here. Oh, <laughs> didn't take you long to jump back in here, did it? See all the paw prints? <laughs> That's why all right. Cool. So here's the floor. And from the inside, you can see Alex out there in my other shed. But this is it, very basic. I mean, I, obviously it's tall enough. I'm walking around inside it. I gotta duck a little bit to get under the door, but plenty of room in here for shelving. It's got on um, these, it's got, you can't, you might not be able to see it. These slits throughout them where you put brackets in for shelving. If you want to put some shelves up, but yeah. This is very nice. I'm very pleased with it. I'm very pleased with how it looks. It was easier to put together than the metal shed that I did last fall out at St. Bernard Acres, but it's still time consuming figuring it all out. But everything is clearly marked. You have plenty of screws, plenty of bolts, everything that you need. You have plenty and you have extras of. But it's very, it's pretty cool. I like it. Now I'm going to see if I can fit four bicycles and a lawnmower in here for right now. We'll see what happens. So what I'm going to be doing is going from that shed to that shed. It's not a long move. <laughs> I don't have to call a moving company. There's mine and Gail's bike, a lawnmower, some of Nick's stuff, his bike parts and tools, his drawers, there's a ladder, weed eater, leaf blower. I'm going to put some shelves in here. There's plenty of more room. And the full-size lawnmower fits in here without a problem. Yeah, I like it. I think this will definitely do the trick, folks. For the normal house with the normal garden shed, or patio shed, or whatever you want to call it. This is really good. 
I'm pleased with it. So I want to thank Patio Well for sending me this, give me the opportunity to review it for you. And we'll see what we do next, folks. I'm out.